Meanwhile, Ole Shoyinka, the Nobel laureate, says the leadership of the Labour Party knew that Peter Obi, the presidential candidate, lost the February 25 election. Shoyinka accused the leadership of the opposition party of trying to force a lie on Nigerians, especially youths, that Obi won the election. The Nobel laureate spoke at an event titled The Lives of Ole Shoyinka, a Dialogue, organized by Africa in the World. The event took place on Wednesday in Stellenbosch, South Africa. Peter Obi achieved something remarkable there, that he broke that mold. Yes, mm -hmm. however, he did not win the election. Mm -hmm. In addition, my own organization has a monitoring unit. Mm -hmm. You know the one I'm talking mm -hmm. about. And so I could say categorically that Peter Obi's party came third, not even second. And that the leadership knew it. Mm. Well, they wanted to do what we call in Yoruba, Bajwe. <laughs> that is, you know, you have force of arms. Mm -hmm. You also have force of lies. Mm. And it was gearing up towards Berlin. They were going to send some of the hardliners, were going to send crowds, young people, into the streets to demonstrate. I'm always ready to to be among such demonstrators, but only on the banner of truth. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.